The Truth About Julie Ann San Jose Julie Ann Pena Florida San Jose, born May 17, 1994, is a Filipino singer, songwriter, musician, recording artist, actress, host, endorser and television personality. She is the youngest recipient of the Diamond Record Award from the Philippine Association of the Record Industry for her album Julie Ann San Jose, which sold more than 150,000 copies in the Philippines. Her second album, Deeper, yielded a triple platinum award for exceeding 45,000 sales in the Philippines. Life and Career, 1994-2009, Early Beginnings and Pop Star Kids, Julie Ann Pena Florida San Jose was born on May 17, 1994 in Quezon City, Philippines, to Jonathan Roque San Jose, a computer operator, and Marva Camzon Pena Florida, an instructor. She is the eldest among her two siblings, Joanna Marie and Jan Christine San Jose. At two and a half years old, San Jose sang Donna Cruz's version of Habang May Buhay. Her mother enrolled her at the Center for Pop Music when she turned three. In the same year, she was cast on the children's show Badabot. In 1998, San Jose competed in Eat Bulaga's Little Miss Philippines, where she ended as first runner-up. She also competed in Magandang Tangali Bayan's Munting Miss You and was third runner-up. She then appeared in a TV advertisement with Sharon Cuneta. San Jose did not pursue show business until 2005, when she joined Pop Star Kids, a singing competition on QTV 11, then GMA News TV. Now GTV 27, hosted by R&B singer-songwriter Kyla. Although San Jose did not win the grand prize, she joined Sugar Pop, the show's spin-off child singing group composed of her co-finalists Rita de Guzman, then known as Rita Iringan, Pocolo Bismondi, Renzo Almario, and Vanessa Rangado. Sugar Pop released two studio albums, Sugar Pop and Sugar Pop Repackaged. The group had a show on QTV 11 titled Planet Q, where a young San Jose and her groupmates showcased their hosting abilities. Sugar Pop also performed weekly on the GMA 7's variety show, SOP. She did various soundtracks for Capuso Talizaries and shows including two for Marion Rivera's Diaspol, Aching Mundo and Sayananga Karya. In December 2008, she sang the GMA Christmas Station ID, I Eat NG Puso, composed by Simon Peter Tan. In 2008, San Jose made her acting debut on GMA Network's afternoon soap opera Gano Cadless and Minson, where she played a supporting character to Camille Pratt's and Marvin Augustin. 2010-2011, Rise to Stardom, when SLP ended in 2010, San Jose joined its replacement show, Party Pilipinas, as a solo artist. As she evolved as a performer, she began to showcase her singing, dancing, and acting abilities on stage. San Jose was also paired with a then-budding artist and rapper, Elmo Magalona. Collectively, they were known as the musical tandem Julie Elmo. In Party Pilipinas, Julie Elmo starred in five short films, The Red Mask Trilogy and Yellow Note 1 and 2 and the short musicals Blue Jeans, The Musical, 2011, Elmo and Julianne, A Wazik Love Story, 2012, and Status, It's Complicated, 2013. San Jose's career took a major leap when she joined GMA 7's Party Pilipinas. Her YouTube video rendition of Nicki Minaj's Super Bass became popular. Soon, San Jose was one of the most promising and popular young singers in the Capuso block. She was included in the top 10 women to watch list by the Women Leaders Center in collaboration with ARC Media Global. She also made the list of new breed of stars to watch out for in 2012. In 2011, San Jose was chosen as the front act for David Arculeta's major concert at the Araneta Coliseum. Arculeta revealed in an interview that it was his personal choice to have Julie and San Jose as the front act for his concert. 2012 to 2015, multimedia artist. In February 2012, San Jose signed an exclusive recording contract with GMA Records. Six months later, she released her eponymous debut album, Julie and San Jose, which received numerous awards and is now a certified Diamond Record RD. Her single, I'll Be There, remains the only single certified quadruple platinum by the Philippine Association of the Record Industry, PARI. Currently, San Jose has released four singles from her album. In 2012, San Jose finally landed a lead role through the youth-oriented weekly show Together Forever. She played the role of Edwinette Esqueda, more popularly known as Toyum, a boyish daddy's girl who falls in love with her best friend. The same year, San Jose debuted as a movie actress on GMA Films' Summer Romance just one summer opposite her Julie Elmo partner Elmo Magalona. She played the role of Maria Bacina Beta Reyes Salazar and sang the movie theme song Bakit Baganyan, which was originally popularized by Dino Benivi. The film was directed by Matt Galeandre. 
In 2013, San Jose had her first major solo concert at the Music Museum in Green Hills, San Juan. This birthday concert entitled Julianne, It's My Time was a success, selling out just five days after going on sale. Guests included the dance crew Adlib, Flip Top star Abra, Elmo Magalona, and Francesca Farr, a multifaceted performer and friend of San Jose. Mark Lopez was the music director. The concert director was Rico Gutierrez. San Jose landed more television projects and GMA Network in the following years. She played the lead role in primetime drama series Cabot Maze and Man, a visually impaired but musically talented girl named Pauline Gomez. She was paired with Christopher Martin, who played her love interest. She was also part of the now-defunct Sunday musical variety show Sunday All-Stars as a lead performer. Her hosting skills were also showcased in her stint in the self-titled weekly dance show Marion Rivera, Marion, alongside her co-host Christian Bautista. She also plays a recurring character named Nikki in Pepito Manolodo, who is the love interest of Cheeto, played by Jake Vargas. In June 2014, San Jose released her second solo studio album entitled Deeper via iTunes Worldwide and SPINRPH. Her second album received a triple platinum award from PARI in January 2016. In December 2014, following the release of her second album, San Jose had her second major concert, Julie and San Jose, Hologram, at the Mall of Asia Arena. Guests include Sam Concepcion, Christian Bautista, Abra, John Lanvire, and Francesca Farr. In 2014, San Jose was part of the Metro Manila Film Festival film entry Kabat, The Aswang Chronicles 2, where she played the role of Stacy. She starred alongside Ding Dong Dantes, Isabel Daza, Lot Lot de Leon, Abra and many other artists. In 2015, San Jose released her digital single Tidal Wave, which was arranged by Sidney Brown, better known as Omen, an American music producer from Harlem. San Jose filmed three music videos in New York City and California with Los Angeles-based company VIM Entertainment. In October 2015, Julie Ann San Jose was chosen alongside Christian Bautista to represent the Philippines in the One Asia Soul Mega Concert in South Korea. The lineup included famous K-pop idol CNBLUE, Ailee, GOT7 as well as other artists throughout Asia. In April 2015, San Jose replaced Isabel Oli in GMA News TV's Day Off. She was joined by co-hosts Desuri Choi and Bube. With Pia Ganeo's departure from 24 or as Chica Minute segment, San Jose was given a short stint as interim Chica Minute anchor. San Jose was part of the afternoon soap Buena Familia alongside Kylie Padilla, Julian Trono, and Jake Vargas, who is her current on-screen partner. In August 2015, she became a part of the newest Sunday variety show Sunday Pinasaya. In December 2015, Julie Ann San Jose received her star in the prestigious Eastwood City Walk of Fame in Quezon City. She also won two major awards in the recently concluded 28th Aida Awards at the Music Museum. 2016 to 2018, a decade in the industry, in May 2016, Julie Ann reached two milestones in her life as she graduated college and celebrated a decade in show business. She celebrated her 10th anniversary with a major concert, which was a success. Later that year, the Capuso singer-actress graduated from Angelicum College with a bachelor's degree in communication arts. Four days before her graduation, Julie Ann posted her graduation photo. In the caption, she recalled how she juggled work and studies, yet managed to survive. San Jose then said, I definitely have to say that it's all worth it. In July 2016, she released her third solo studio album entitled Chasing the Light under GMA Records. Her album release event was held at SM Fairview Mall in the Philippines on July 17, 2016 with crowds of thousands. The album was well received and continues to hold the top spot on iTunes PH albums. Chasing the Light features songwriting and a rap feature from Filipino-American hip-hop artist and songwriter C. True on the tracks Don't Make Me Wait, Take Me to Nirvana, and All About You. In November 2016, San Jose held a concert at the same venue in Kia Theater. She joined forces with Christian Bautista as they shared the sold-out concert stage in When Julie Ann Meets Christian. In January 2017, she played the lead role in the afternoon soap Pinulat Ka Lang Sa Lupa as Santina Marquez. The show ended after its 11th week. In June 2017, Julie Ann San Jose went viral online with her cover of the latest hit single Despachito by Louise Fonsi featuring Daddy Yankee and Justin Bieber. The viral YouTube video cover also landed a feature on famous international sites like 9Gag TV and Superstar Magazine. In November 2017, she left GMA Records and signed a contract under Universal Records, then began working on another album. 
In January 2018, Julie Ann started her year with a sold-out intimate concert at Music Museum. Julie highlighted the different stages of love in the concert. It's going to be intimate. It will be more mature, especially when it comes to song choices. And as the title suggests, I will show, through music, the different stages of love and tackle relationships and what goes with them, the 23-year-old singer-actress told reporters at a press conference. Right after her Julie concert, San Jose prepared for another concert with Christian Bautista and MS Regine Velasquez Alcazar. In May 2018, as Cosmopolitan magazine Philippines marked their last print issue, Julie Ann San Jose was featured on the final cover. She is the last Cosmo cover girl on their print issue in the month of May as they ventured into the digital world. In July 2018, after months of anticipation, Julie Ann San Jose presented Breakthrough, her first album under Universal Records. Prior to the album's release on July 27, its first three singles had garnered multiple achievements. Her originals, Nothing Left and Teong Galawa, both reached number one on the iTunes Philippines All Genre chart just 30 minutes after release. Additionally, her rendition of the Parakya Nai Edgar classic Your Song, My One and Only, exceeded 5 million plays on Spotify. Upon its release, the album celebrated commercial success in both digital and CD formats. The album debuted at number one on the iTunes Philippines All Genre chart and maintained the spot for Week, a rare feat for OPM albums. Breakthrough also received impressive sales during the jam-packed Grand Album launch at the Eastwood Mall Open Park. In November 2018, Julie Ann was invited on Gary Valenciano's advocacy album, I Eat It Laro, to promote Filipino games and songs through art and music. She is the only GMA artist on the album, in which San Jose performs the song Pitik Bulig, composed by Jungi Marcello. In May 2018, Julie Ann San Jose starred in a daytime musical series My Guitar Princess, where she plays the main character, Selena Raimundo, a.k.a. The Guitar Princess, along leading stars Gil Carriva and Kiko Estrada. The show features original soundtracks, including the show's theme song Wow and Capellet, created by Roxy Fabian. The featured songs did really well on iTunes PH Chart and Spotify. In October 2018, Julie Ann lead GMA Network's new musical variety show, Studio 7. Julie Ann made her voice acting debut in the first Filipino anim series, Barangay 143, on GMA Network. 2019 present, a new chapter, in January 2019, Julie Ann bagged two awards at Wish Music Awards 2019 and renewed her contract with Universal Records, Philippines. Her rendition of your song hit 7 million streams on Spotify. In February 2019, San Jose spent Valentine's Day on Gloria Dadapadin's lyrics of love, LOL, a Valentine concert and comedy night with Julie and San Jose. She also released new single, Boleta, a collaboration with Glock 9 and hit number one on two charts of iTunes Philippines, namely all genre songs and hip hop rap. In March 2019, after the successful debut of Boleta, San Jose shot a music video for the song. Julie Ann received a Favorite Album Award for Breakthrough at the first Inside Showbiz Awards. She also performed at the anticipated Castaway Music Festival in SM City Rosales. In April 2019, Julie released her newest composition, Regrets. The emotional song is a reflection of her experiences in the past year. Minutes after its release, the single reached the top spot on the iTunes Philippines All Genre and Pop Charts, continuing her streak of number one hit singles. In May 2019, Artist Center announced Julie Ann as the Artist of the Month of May, who took the center stage in a series of digital features to celebrate her birthday. After a successful series of Studio 7 Music Haley concerts across Manila and an unforgettable Capuso concert in Dagupan, San Jose joined a Studio 7 musical variety show. Studio 7 and GMA Pinoy TV brought the show to Brooklyn, New York City for Cape Song Pinoy Studio 7 Music Haley Saw Brooklyn. In 2019, Julie Ann San Jose embraced womanhood as the PEP main attraction July cover girl. Julie Ann San Jose then played a sold-out Julie Sings the Divas concert. Julie Ann is one of organization NG Pilipinong Mang Its, OPM, active junior ambassadors. Her job as a junior ambassador is to represent and promote Filipino music. San Jose is also a celebrity advocate of World Vision, an international child-focused non-government organization which mainly promotes children's rights, well-being and education.